I almost used lamps before they were invented. We started off as many of my generation did with homemade lamps, motorcycle, spotlights, car, headlamps, 12 volt batteries. We have all heard about it, how horrendous they were and they were really. When I look back at lugging a 12 volt car battery around fields all night. I used them a lot for rabbits. My own personal favourite is the jet beam which has a very tight spot but has a very bright halo around the spot. When you're shooting rabbits from a pickup or four before on the move it's quite difficult if a rabbit moves which many of them do they run to the hedge stop but then they'll shuffle about and you'll lose them but if you've got a lamp that has a, a bright halo then they're much easier to see. The one I use for foxing if I do use a lamp is one of the Claris range, which are very good, they're bright. White would still have to be the top one. Uh, I always found amber was quite good. Red certainly picks up the eyes. Some people swear by green. Um, I've tried it, I haven't found it's made a lot of difference to be honest. I've never quite understood why quite a lot of people will go out and they say they spot with the lamp because they can pick up the fox's eyes with the lamp, switch it off and go into night vision mode. I have to say I've done it, but I've always thought it's pretty pointless because you're alerting the fox immediately to the fact you're there. This is the one I sometimes use from the pickup or four before when we're out. This is one of the tracer range from Deben. Very, very good lamps. You can whip that one off and you've got an extremely powerful spotlight. They have their uses. I mean, I'd have given them a right hand for one of these when I was a lad, because they're light, they're very powerful. I think uh, manufacturers do have a problem with lamps because everybody seems to want lamps that will stretch further and further and further. And that is one way that manufacturers can change. It's nice to have a lamp that'll shine 800 yards away. Yeah, there's a fox 800 yards away. Yeah, that's very interesting, but you're not going to shoot it unless it comes in 500 yards closer. I think lamping will, all, there will always be room for lamping. It always did work, but like most things that humans are involved in, new comes out and we all latch on to it. But I, in my lifetime, have shot a lot of foxes with a lamp and a shotgun. I think there'll be a lot of people who will always stick to it.